I'm Vandana Shiva from India. I started a movement called Navdanya 25 years ago. Basically because I felt an outrage at the idea that life on earth, created over millennia by the earth herself, diversified further by our ancestors, that now it was being claimed to have been invented and created by a handful of corporations that used to bring us toxic chemicals that brought us war. Now they wanted to own seed and own life forms. And for me, it was just too wrong to accept this. So I started, on the one hand, to save seeds. And we have created more than 100 community seed banks. We've created seed banks where more than 3,000 varieties of rice are conserved and distributed, hundreds of wheat varieties. Wheat varieties that farmers now call me to tell me that they're earning twice as much and having to eat half as much because there's far more nutrition in the old varieties. But we don't just save the seeds. This is the creative constructive action. We also resist. Because if all you're looking after is your little garden, and meantime, the laws that make that garden illegal are encroaching upon you. Beyond a point, your little seed banks and your little gardens won't work. And that is why, in one hand, we have to open the doors of freedom. And on the other hand, we have to shut the doors of dictatorship. To shut the doors of dictatorship, first, we must not accept the obscenity of laws that say life is a creation of corporations. We've got to reclaim the freedom of life to be itself, for seeds to be in farmers' hands. We call this seed sovereignty. The second thing we have to do is remember that there, we, there are other ways we have lived. This is so recent, just in one and a half decades. We cannot erase 10,000 years of agricultural evolution. We've got to have our memory to reactivate an imagination of freedom. And that imagination of freedom will only be reactivated through diversity, through decentralization, and through empowering the last species and the last person.